Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Prosecutors told a New Mexico judge on Monday that Abdul Ghani Wahaj died in February during a religious ritual performed by his father Siraj Wahaj. Abdul Ghani went missing from Jonesboro, Georgia, late last year, the BBC reported. The ceremony was meant to cast demons from the then three-year-old boy who had severe health problems, prosecutors said during a detention hearing for Wahaj in a Taos County court. Investigators discovered the child remains inside a tunnel on the property, which attorneys claimed were those of the missing boy. However, the identity of the remains has not yet been confirmed by the New Mexico Office of the Medical Investigator. What's the backstory? On Monday, Judge Sarah Bacchus released Wahaj, 40, and the other four adults from the Taos County Jail on unsecured $20,000 bonds. It's unclear on when they have to go back to court. Authorities arrested the adults on August 3 during a raid on the Muslim extremist compound near the Colorado border. Eleven children, ages 1 to 15, were found starving and living in filth on the property. Some of the children were allegedly training to commit school shootings, according to prosecutors. The judge said the information about the case was troubling, but that the state didn't prove the suspects posed a danger to the public. Wahaj pleaded not guilty to 11 counts of child abuse and one count of custodial interference last week. Lucas Morton and the three women pleaded not guilty to child abuse and harboring a fugitive. The suspects are required to wear ankle bracelets while they are out on bond. What else happened in court? Prosecutor John Lovelace told the court that Wahaj performed a ritual intended to cast out demonic spirits from Abdul Ghani Wahaj, NBC News reported. One of the children rescued from the compound told investigators that Wahaj would place his hand on the boy's head and read from the Quran, according to NBC News. Abdul Ghani reportedly foamed at the mouth during the ceremony, according to prosecutors. During the final ritual, the child's heart stopped. Defense attorneys argued that the ritual wasn't meant to harm to the toddler. The adults allegedly told the children that once the demons had been exorcised from Abdul Ghani, the boy would return as Jesus, according to authorities. As Jesus, he would instruct the group about corrupt institutions they needed to get rid of, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution reported. After the boy died, he was wrapped in a sheet and placed inside the tunnel, prosecutors said. FBI agent Travis Taylor said Wahaj's Islamic wife, Janie Levile, was supposed to be the mother of Abdul Ghani, according to some of the children, according to the Journal-Constitution. The adults allegedly told the children that the boy's mother, Hakama Ramsey, had performed black magic on Levile and had stolen the boy from her womb. Ramsey had not seen her son since her husband left with the child to go to the park on December 1 and never returned.